Hello everyone, Jen Obvious back with another Unity tutorial. Uh, this video is going to show you how to make a globally synced toggle button to turn off and on an object, uh, fireworks, particle system, whatever you want to do, animation. But we're going to make the button and I'm going to show you how to do the script so all of the players in your instance will be able to see what's going on at the same time, even late joiners. So when a player presses a button, then animation is going to start and turn off and on. So first thing I do, I've got a uh, I've got a model here of a switch that I put in here, and we're going to have to make this button right here. It doesn't have a collider on it right now, so we're going to put a collider on it so we can use it for the players to push it and turn off and on this cube here. This cube. I have a simple animation on it. So when the player presses this button, everyone in the instance is going to see this move in the same spot and do exactly the same thing. All right, so let's do our button here. And we want them to press that. So let's go ahead and add. Now you can put a box collider. Uh, we're going to put a, uh, a sphere collider on it because uh, it's a circle but you can put a box collider whatever and the next thing we want to do is write our script so when a player presses this button it's going to turn on which will have this turned off at the start so when a player presses this button it's going to pop on do its animation and all that stuff okay so let's go back to our button and let's make our script. Now I've already made a folder here for to hold the script uh, for this switch. So we're going to right click in our project folder, create, VR chat, Udon, Udon graph program asset. And we're going to rename it sync toggle. All right, let's go back to our button. Let's add component udon behavior then drag the script that we just made and put it into the program source all right then you're going to open udon graft up here to variables you're going to add a game object rename it target Click here, make sure it's public. Then you're going to hit reload, and you'll notice that the public variable target now shows up down here. It has nothing in it, so what we want is the cube. So we want the cube with the animation on our target. That's what we want to turn on and off. So we're going to take the cube and bring it down to here. All right, so we've got that part set up. Let's open Udon Graph again. Now we can start writing our script. So we will need a event, interact. We are going to need a send custom network event. And down here, we're going to do a event custom. And create another node. We're going to create a game object. Set active. We'll need a boolean. Unary negotiation. Then we're going to need another game object, get active self, and we're going to take our target up here. We're going to bring that down, and we're going to start connecting some noodles. Like so. Let's 
bring that down and we need a custom event name so let's go ahead and name this toggle target all right hit reload click up here in the send custom event and you may have to hit reload a couple times and now it shows up toggle target so this is what you need right here this is all you need right here so when a player clicks on here this will come on or off and all the players in the instance will be able to see what's going on however you have late joiners so we need to add more stuff to this script if you have somebody joining late in your instance they want to see the same thing so we're going to have to add some more scripting for the late joiners okay so we will need to create on player joined event and let me widen this a little bit so you can see it better and this will happen every time a player is joined this event will be called into action so we need another one here and we're going to go to networking git is master now the master is the person that's been in the world the longest. Uh, this just checks each player as they drop in to see who is the master, who's control the animation, and so forth. Uh, we're going to drag out from here and create a branch. And we're going to plug that into there. Now we'll drag our target back out. And we're going to need to create node, a uh, game object, get active self. And we'll branch off from here, create a branch. And we'll plug that branch into that branch. And this into get active self. All right. Okay, let's move this in a little bit so you can see better. Let's put that there. And right here, this is true or false. Where it's going to check to see if the object is on or off. So what we're going to need to create is a network event. Send custom network event. And we're going to need that again so true we'll go to this one here this one's going to be false so we'll connect that to there now we're let's bring that in a little bit and we're going to need a uh, custom event custom again Game object, set active. We're going to drag our target back out. Connect these noodles. In this custom event, we're going to call it toggle target true. Hit reload, reload a couple times. Come back up to your top. This is your true network event. And click to toggle target true. Then we're gonna need the same thing for the faults. Then we're gonna need another custom event. And another game object. Oops. Game object. Set active. And we're going to drag our target back out. 
And this custom event we're going to call toggle target false. Enter. And we're going to connect our noodles. And we're going to leave this one unchecked. Hit reload. Come up to your false network event. Select toggle target faults. And I think we are done. That is it. That is the complete script for a the, for the toggle. Uh, when a player clicks it, everybody in the instance will see what's going on. Um, so I don't have anybody else to test it with me right now, but I have done the same script in a world that I'm going to be releasing soon, and it works fine. I've already tested it with two, three other people. Um, so what happens is, let's go ahead and turn off the cube. And let's hit play. And we should be able to walk right up to the switch and then the cube come on and do its animation. And there it goes. And that is going to be seen where it is, you know, whatever. It can be fireworks, it can be particle system, whatever you want to turn on and off. And everybody in your instance will see it in the same spot, globally synced, not local. All right, thanks, everybody. If, uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.